Y'all ready for this? I'm your doctor, T.C. Martin, and alongside of me, my broadcast partner and guru of professional wrestling, Big Al Lorenz. Well, Big Al, we've got plenty in store for the fans this week. No doubt about it, T.C. We're going to see high-flying action, all kinds of action here at the NWC. The fans are coming out in droves to the Silver Nugget, seeing the action that you want to see. Absolutely, positively correct. And this week's show, we will show you Don Juan, probably the most arrogant man in the NWC. Without question, here's a guy that's totally in love with himself. I can't stand him. He's despicable. Also, we will show you highlights from our $10,000 12-man over-the-top rope battle royal. Some surprises here in the battle royal. You're going to be surprised who wins this one, fans. $10,000 to the winner. You'll also be surprised who's in the battle royal. Without question, you're going to be surprised, shocked, and amazed. You've never seen a battle royal like this one. Without further ado, let's get right up to ringside for today's action in NWC Slamming. As we get settled in here, the judge pronouncing sentence here in the NWC. Judge Dredd opening up today, Big Al. 400 pounds, the true giant of the NWC, right here in your living room, TC. Here we go, once again, with another edition of NWC slamming. Judge Dredd, 400 pounds, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The noose is here. We have seen Judge Dredd before. Today, he gets into the ring with Gary Crusher Key. The Crusher might have bitten off more than he could chew here, Doc. 400 pounds. Look at this behemoth. He's huge. He is definitely huge and definitely mean and big. Judge Dredd and Gary Crusher Key right here. And NWC slamming. And Judge Dredd starts his bout off with the boots and the smash to the back of the head of Gary Crusher Key. Big Judge Dredd really making a name for himself here in the NWC. Well, you know, TC, we're not going to see too many wrestling maneuvers here from the judge. He is pretty agile for 400 pounds as he whips the crusher. A spinning kick by the judge. Wow, I've never seen that one before. Down with the knee to the shoulder of Gary Crusher Key. And the judge taking care of business early in this match. Gary Crusher Key to the ropes. Misses. And trying to get the big judge over. That will not work, Big Al. No, the judge just pounding on top of the crusher here. Boy, the crusher's definitely in trouble. Once again, he did fight off more than he could chew as the judge with a big boot to the back. Judge Dredd here in the NWC has taken care of all covers thus far. Comes with a big clothesline there. And the judge yelling at the crowd. Not much of a fan favorite here with NWC faithful. You know, the, the, he, these guys yelling at the crowd all the time. You know, I saw the judge in the back in the locker room, D.C. He says he's ready to take on anybody and everybody here at the NWC. The judge got the bear hug on Gary Crusher Key right now and drapes him right over the top. Top rope, a little bit of pain for the crusher. Well done by the judge. Got the crusher right across the throat. Well, you know, we're seeing Judge Dredd in singles action today, just like we did last week. But Big Al, this man has also tagged up with an unlikely partner and will be in the tag team tournament coming up August 25th here with Johnny Psycho Payne. I'll tell you what, Doc, you want unpredictability. He signed with the psychotic one. He's going to be in the ring in tag team action with Johnny Psycho Payne. Everybody wants a piece of some kind of belt here in the NWC, so together these two big guys and crazy guys will get together and try to wrestle away the tag team belts in the tournament coming up here on August the 25th. But right now, Judge Dredd putting the boots right to Gary Crusher Key. 
and has dominated throughout this match. You know, we haven't seen an off offensive move by the Crusher yet as the judge whips him into the corner. Here we go. Maybe the Crusher coming in with a flying leg scissors, but no. Down goes Crusher Key, and the judge showing uh, some ring veteranship here. You know, without question, the judge, week by week, we see him, we see his progress progress. Look out, here he comes. Big splash, and down goes Gary Crusher Key. He will not be getting up from that big out. That's 400 pounds from corner to corner, Doc. And oh now he's going up. He's going to the top. We've seen this before. To the middle rope. No, he's going to the top. And it looks like the gavel buster for Judge Dredd. That'll do it. A one, two, and a three. Ring the bell. Gary Crusher Key not getting up. Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd victorious once again here in the NWC. The he, real giant. And he made Bill Anderson say, the real giant. Let's go to the replay, Big Al. Without a doubt, the real giant of professional wrestling. 400 pounds. You see him go up to the top rope here. Here he comes off the top rope with the gamble buster on top of the crusher, man. It's all over. One, two, three. Your winner, Judge Dredd. The judge continues to make a name for himself right here in the NWC. Fans, don't you dare go anywhere because we got more in store, Ragidoa. More of what you're looking for right here. Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe this great action here? I can't. Well, I'll tell you, all the great superstars of wrestling are coming right here to the National Wrestling Conference. And a 330 big bad man is coming here. He's known from Kansas City as the Roughneck Mr. Hughes. That's right. You see, my main reason, like I told these people a long time ago, that my main reason in professional wrestling today is to take people out. You see, they don't call me Roughneck for nothing. You see, roughneck means that I'm the meanest, the baddest SOB you ever gonna run across. Now then, you call yourself on a bark up my tree. Let me tell you people something. NWC means that I am the man. You see, I am gonna take the every strap that they have to offer to me. I'm coming to get it. I am the roughneck. Anybody wanna deal with me? Come, bring it on. I got something for you. It's called a sidewalk slam. Mr. Hughes, do you understand Terry Funk is in this organization? He's the king of chain matches. Sabu, he'll bring a table in on you. What are you going to do to You see, it don't man? make me no difference. You bring your bat in there, you bring your pistola, it don't make no difference. When I tell you and all these stinking people out there that I'm the roughneck, I'm from the hood, that means that I'm the man. You see, I take no prisoners. I play with nobody's kids. You got something for me, you bring it on. You know what that thing I told you it was called? The sidewalk slam. And I guarantee you this, you will not get up from the sidewalk slam. You better have your insurance, baby. You're going down. Y'all ready for this? Get ready for another monster NWC extravaganza. Friday night, August 25th at the Silver Nugget. It's the night for champions. As the NWC heavyweight title is on the line, Sabu battles Cactus Jack in a lumberjack match. These two wild men go at it again. It's sure to be another war. Also, it's the NWC tag team tournament. Eight great teams battle for the belts. Get your tickets now at the Silver Nugget. And don't miss this awesome show. Friday, August 25th at the Silver Nugget. Be there. As you know by now, the NWC has established itself by bringing you the wildest matches in professional wrestling. On Friday night, August 25th, the most vicious rivalry in the world resumes as two of the wildest brawlers in the business go head to head again. It's Cactus Jack versus Sabu. The NWC heavyweight champion has withstood challenges from everyone who has tried to capture his belt. He has had tough matches against terrible Terry Funk in the Texas Chain match. <laughs> Funk never fully recovered from this bloody war with Sabu. <laughs> but his roughest and toughest battles have been with this wild man, Cactus Jack. First, it was a desert death match where these two rambled throughout the entire arena. <laughs> then there was a rematch in a steel cage with weapons.
Then came the steel cage war with four men battling each other. Now, it's just the two of them in the center of the ring in a lumberjack match. 15 wrestlers outside the ring to make sure these two dangerous wild men keep it in the ring and don't spill into the crowd. And this time, Cactus Jack wants Sabu's belt badly. We've taken it all over the ring. I've piled driven your miserable skull on a blackjack table and saw $30,000 worth of chips rolling around. Security wanted to put me away except for one thing. They were afraid. And with good reason, you see, Sabu, you bring out the very worst in me, and at the same time, you bring out the very best in me. And who's kidding who? The whole world's afraid of this match, but at the same time, they're drawn in. And as long as there's a sick society like the United States out there, I keep my job. I keep my job because the fact is, like an auto accident on the freeway, everyone wants to see Cactus Jack and Sabu. And sure, the commission's afraid. Sure, the fans are afraid. Sure, that skinny idiot T.C. Martin's afraid. And I'm afraid too, Sabu. Afraid of what I'm going to do when I cross that final line and put you out of wrestling for good. So, Sabu, I may end up in a wheelchair, but not before I strap that heavyweight championship belt around my waist. Friday night, August 25th, this awesome rivalry continues, and a new heavyweight champion could be crowned. One thing is for sure, this won't be just a battle, it's another war. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the great professional wrestlers are just lining up to get into the NWC. Well, this next man is a true legend in professional wrestling, Junkyard Dog. NWC is the place to be. You know, I look around this place and I see all the new upcoming stars. You got Johnny Train, which they call him Johnny Payne. You got the high flying arrow assault. You got Judge Dredd. You got that nasty thug still running around here, knocking people. Then you got your man, Mr. Powell himself, Larry Dara, whatever his name. Now you got your man, your Yonky Tonk Man. Well, I was here when this house was first built. I said, this is the house that the dog built. And those four square circles is my yard and nobody, well, I say nobody, like Mr. Hughes said, would cock your leg up in my yard and do nothing illegal. So come one, come all, let's have ourselves a ball. And my main man, Honky Tonk, you and I finna get together, my brother, and we're gonna play ourselves some blues. Get down with it. You know what I'm saying? And it's all good. <laughs> I like that, man, don't you? Why would the guy try to knock you about your suit? You look very well, that man. Thank you. I'm telling you right. NWC, like I said again, it's the place to be. And then I look around, I see guys like, whew, scared me to death. I'm so glad I'm so halfway laid back in the corner when you see a guy like Sabu. And that crazy cactus jacket back out here again, he's a tall half of his ear. All his teeth is gone. Now he ain't talking about suplex and duplex and everybody on top of the table. Good God and Miss Molly, what's going around here next? The NWC is going natural crazy. All I can tell you, wrestling fans, is when the junkyard dog comes to your town, don't miss him. Y'all ready for this? Get ready for another monster NWC extravaganza. Friday night, August 25th at the Silver Nugget. It's the night for champions. As the NWC heavyweight title is on the line, Sabu battles Cactus Jack in a lumberjack match. These two wild men go at it again. It's sure to be another war. Also, it's the NWC tag team tournament. Eight great teams battle for the belts. Get your tickets now at the Silver Nugget. And don't miss this awesome show. Friday, August 25th at the Silver Nugget. Be there. of the most high-flying, dangerous tag team in the NWC, Aerial Assault, today in singles competition against the Wild Renegade. Here we go, Bobby Bradley in singles competition, Doc. His partner, Robbie B, can't be too far around. Absolutely correct. So Bobby Bradley in singles competition for this week, and NWC slamming against the Wild Renegade, and Bobby Bradley, Rob Van Dam, certainly making a name for themselves in the NWC as a tag team. Unbelievable moves that they have, TC. 
fans, if you haven't seen Aerial Assault, come on out to the Silver Nugget. You're going to see moves that you've never seen in professional wrestling. And they are gearing up for the tag team tournament where the NWC will be crowning the new champions. Eight teams in the tag team tournament Friday night, August the 25th at the Silver Nugget. Get your tickets now. Aerial Assault undefeated currently in the NWC, and they want the belts, Big Al. Oh, no question about that, T. You know, it would be a great move for the NWC and a big move in, a, in the careers of Robbie and Bobby if they could strap that gold around their waist. Bobby Brad right now big atomic drop delivered to the wild renegade bobby bradley off the rope smashed to the face and the renegade in some pain oh the renegade down you know he's a big boy here 270 pounds out of out of houston texas this boy can move a little bit now oh, there's a flying drop kick by bobby nice flying drop kick bobby bradley snap Aaron down goes the renegade bobby bradley with the headlock on the wild renegade here Today at NWC Slam it, Bobby Bradley, second generation wrestler. He has been the NWC from its inception. Very impressive and a fan favorite here, Big Al. Oh, without question, TC. You know, a fan favorite here, the crowd. The girls love Bobby. He's a good looking guy. And there's a spinning crescent kick from half the ring by Bobby Bradley. Excellent move by Bobby Bradley. He's got the renegade up. Beautiful snap suplex going for a cover. One, two, and the renegade kicks out at the count of two. Bobby Bradley, the agility and also some power for a big for well, a little Well, you know, you know, if you're going to survive in a tag team wars here in the NWC, not only do you got to be able to fly, you got to be able to brawl. And then he just took a big shot from the renegade. Renegade coming back in a nice boot to the face and down goes Bradley. And the Renegade trying to build up a little steam here. And Bobby Bradley, like we said before, one half of a world-famous aerial assault. Great high-flying tag team. And now the Renegade comes with a beautiful move. A nice reverse suit play. Here he comes. The Renegade with a nice offensive move. He's got him down. One, two, and he kicks out in time. Only a two count by a referee, David Hogg. Bobby Bradley gets a smash to the forehead by the Renegade and another one. And the Renegade looking pretty impressive here thus far, Big Al. Well, you know, Bobby was looking for a tag there. You know, you know, sometimes when you get in tag team action, you know, you're always looking for your partner. It's always quick ins and outs. There's no tag in here in a singles match. Singles match and a beautiful power slam by Bradley. One, two. The Renegade kicks out again as Bobby Bradley trying to take control of this match. He's going to the ropes. Man. He loves it up there. Oh, the high flyer. He's going to go to the top here, T. I know he is. Who knows where he's going to come from now. He's up on the top. Let's see what kind of maneuver it is. Here it comes. It's the flying leg drop by Bobby Bradley. What a move. The Renegade down and out. Bradley going for a cover. No. He's going upstairs again. He's going to go again for another flyer. He's 15 feet up off the apron. Look out. Here he comes. Beautiful flying leg drop delivered twice in a row by Bobby Bradley. Renegade, dazed, confused, in some pain. An Irish whip into the rope. No, it's a reversal. And down goes Bobby Bradley. He had a chance to cover maybe Big Al with two big leg drops, and now the Renegade back in the match. I'm going to tell you, you never take anyone in the NWC too lightly, TC. You got a guy down. You got to pin him one, two, three. Renegade has Bradley up. Beautiful scoop slam. Renegade comes off the rope, deliver the elbow, and down across the chest of Bobby Bradley. Well Going done. for a cover, and it's two, and that is all. Well, the Renegade showing some good offensive skills here in a singles competition against Bobby B. In a headlock right now, Bobby Bradley, the wild renegade. Bradley, as we said before, in singles competition. The crowd getting behind Bobby Bradley, one half of aerial assault. You know, the crowd has just taken off with this team, TC. They love the high-flying maneuvers. They love to see Robbie and Bobby flying through the air, pressing kicks, martial arts moves, flying, and they love to see the suicide bomber. Oh, the suicide bomber, the patented finishing move. It has been developed by Rob Van Dam and Bobby Bradley together, aerial assault. Right now, Bobby Bradley has no one to tag out to here in this singles match against the Wild Renegade. The crowd coming alive, clapping their hands, and they'd love to see Bobby Bradley get a win here today, Big Al. You know, the ladies in the crowd, they like that team, especially both two good-looking young guys, you know, Robbie and Bobby. Bobby especially, real good-looking young guy, high flying maneuver, and a real nice gentleman with the crowd, too. Crowd coming alive. Bobby Bradley in a little bit of trouble here. Beautiful move. He's got the renegade down with the foot on the rope. 
Bradley trying to take control here, has the Renegade by the hair. Here comes a whip into the ropes, goes the Renegade. Bradley with a flying drop kick, down goes the Renegade once again. Now Bobby Bradley trying to take control of this match here in the NWC. Scoop slam got him up and down he goes. Bobby Bradley going to the top rope again. Looks like a moonsault, Big Al. Once again, he's 15 feet from the apron. Look out, here he comes again. Beautiful moonsault. Slingshot on the top rope. He's got a wrap up and that'll do it. Bobby Bradley victorious. maneuver the first time we've seen that one here big al well, here's one i've never seen tc unbelievable let's go to the all-state out of marine instant replay where bobby bradley does his best work off the top rope here he comes with the split maneuver knee across the chest of the renegade wraps him up in a slingshot one two three it's all over your winner bobby bradley one half of the most dangerous high-flying tag team in the world today aerial assault bobby bradley gets the victory in singles competition right here in the NWC. Wait, this man has been suspended for 60 days. He's hit referees. He's hit wrestlers. He's been disqualified. He's been suspended. He's done everything there is to do. Come on in, thug. Yeah, you wait one second there, fat boy. And let me tell all you jabronis out there something. First of all, the refs that got hit deserved it. Second of all, the wrestlers that got hit deserved it. And third of all, that big superhuman fat pig, all six foot five, so-called fan, got in the thug's face. And what happened? Just like everybody else, he went down. And as far as the 60-day suspension, hey, everybody knows what the National Wrestling Conference is trying to do to moi. Everybody knows it's a conspiracy. Everybody knows they've been trying to run me out since I've joined this so-called operation of champions well let me tell all you jabronis out there the nwc stands for one thing and one thing only y'all ready for this Get WC slamming. You're so right, TC. It's amazing how the fans have taken to the Navajo Kid. Absolutely, positively correct. And uh, I feel rain coming down. Big Al, the clouds above, a war dance going on. Move over the totem pole. The Navajo Kid in action against RJ Rodriguez in singles competition here. And his tag team partner, the Dancing Wolf. Not too far behind the Native Warriors making an impression here in tag team action. Now we're going to see Navajo Kid in singles competition against R.J. Rodriguez. The crowd very vocal here in support of the Navajo Kid. They have been very supportive of the Native Warriors. Another tag team that is entered into the prestigious NWC Tag Team Tournament August the 25th. That's a Friday night. It's right here at the Silver Nugget. Big Al, I can hardly wait for that. I can't wait to see it myself, TC. Eight of the greatest tag teams in the world, right here in Las Vegas. RJ Rodriguez making fun of the Navajo Kid, mocking him. Navajo Kid didn't take too kindly of that. Shoves Rodriguez right to the mat. You know, I gave him a double knife edge. Right down goes RJ Rodriguez. Fans clapping, chanting the Navajo Kid in action here today. Big Al, I know you're a big fan of the Native Warriors. I saw you in the back of the theater watching Pocahontas the other night. I saw Pocahontas. It's a great Disney movie, TC. I thought you bought the popcorn for that movie. Who was I with? That, was, that wasn't you. Wait a minute, Big Al. I don't wear skirts. Navajo Kid in the corner now, and R.J. Rodriguez taking control of this match, and he's telling Jesse Hernandez to back away. You know, Rodriguez, a cagey veteran, as he Irish whips into the corner, and here he comes with a clothesline. A nice move by R.J. Rodriguez. R.J. Rodriguez, a little small, but a cagey wrestler in the ring there with the Navajo Kid. Navajo Kid has some size on him, and uh, we have seen plenty of the Navajo Kid thus far in the NWC, but not too much of R.J. Rodriguez. No, we haven't seen much of the R.J. Rodriguez, man. Uh, you know, he's been all over the world. He's a cagey veteran, T.C. He could give the Navajo Kid a lot of trouble here. Navajo Kid trying to come alive once again. Crowd chanting, screaming, they're behind the Navajo Kid all the way. Could be the Dancing Wolf leading those cheers, Big Al. You know, it's amazing how the, the crowd has taken the Navajo Kid and Dancing Wolf. They love our Native Americans. Drop kick, and down goes Rodriguez. 
Rodriguez again. Navajo Kid regaining control and whips Rodriguez into the ropes. Navajo Kid missing a drop kick this time. There you said it, the KG veteran pulling a slime move there, R.J. Rodriguez. There's that ringmanship by Rodriguez as he takes over again on the Navajo Kid. Very surprising here, R.J. Rodriguez giving the Navajo Kid a little bit of a battle. And he has Navajo uh, right now going up for a possible suplex. Yes, up and over. Beautiful move. Well done. Nice move by R.J. Rodriguez and uh, the Navajo Kid in a little bit of trouble here. And then a scoop slam by R.J. Rodriguez. Not quite that big, but has some power for a small man, Big Al. You know, once again, you know, you get these tag team wrestlers, TC, and they get in these singles competition, they look over the corner, and there's no one there. It's, you know, it's a lot different wrestling singles than it is with the tags. Now the Navajo Kid trying to get a second win, you might say. Once again, Rodriguez a couple smashes to the back, but the Navajo Kid coming alive. He wants one. Comes with a chop to the forehead, and now a left to the forehead. Over the top again, Navajo Kid. Beautiful knifing edge maneuver to the chest of R.J. Rodriguez. Another whip That's into the ropes. And now clothesline and down goes Rodriguez. A nice move by the Navajo Kid. Successive Tomahawks get Rodriguez stunned and down on his back. R.J. Rodriguez in a little bit of trouble. Navajo Kid has him up and slammed down by Navajo Kid. The Navajo Kid going to the top rope again. You know, I've never seen the Aaron Indians of the year. Look out, here he comes. To the top rope and a double axe handle to the top of the head. And Navajo Kid right on top of RJ Rodriguez. Got him up in the air. Could it be an airplane spin? Navajo Kid waltzing around. Has Rodriguez. Down he goes. And a reverse back body slap going for the cover. One, two, three. It's all over. Oh, yes, get out the drums, Big Al. Let's go to the Ultra Zone instant replay. Well, right before the Navajo Kid picks, gets picked up, you see the double knife edge handle off the top rope into the back rock drop. One, two, three. The Navajo Kid, a singles winner here in the NWC. Now, fans, let's go up to the ring and join my partner, T.C. Martin, for this edition of the Doctor's Office. A special edition this week, fans. The universal heart drop. Don Juan's gonna try and hold court inside the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor is now in. Come on, Waltzy Matilda. Come on up here. We don't have all day. Mr. Arrogance, step right up here. Let's go. I'm gonna let you say your piece. Come on, you can have the microphone. faster than these casinos do with three businesses. The first one is I'm going to open a watermelon stand for you black people. The next thing I'm going to do is open up a second-hand store for you white people. And the third thing I'm going to do is open up a target range to get rid of the homosexuals in this part of town. Peace. 
Duchess, Barbara Blaze. Ready for this? Get ready for another monster NWC extravaganza! Friday night, August 25th at the Silver Nugget. It's the night for champions as the NWC heavyweight title is on the line. Sabu battles Cactus Jack in a lumberjack match. These two wild men go at it again. It's sure to be another war. Also, it's the NWC tag team tournament. Eight great teams battle for the belts. Get your tickets now at the Silver Nugget and don't miss this awesome show. Friday, August 25th at the Silver Nugget. Be there! Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, up to ringside and join TC as he introduces the combatants for this afternoon's main event, the 15-man over-the-top battle royal. I see seven foot Judge Dredd in the ring. 400 pounds of Bohemoth coming down the aisle right now. It looks like the other seven foot giant, SWAT seven foot two out of Washington, D.C. These Bohemoths better keep their backs turned. Fifteen men over the top battle royal here, fans. Your main event on this afternoon's edition of NWC Slamming. Now let's see who else is coming down the aisle here. There's the Volcano Kid from the island of Tonga, the South Sea Pacific 305 pound ring veteran. Whoa, in comes the ring from San Francisco, the man on the back of Bill Sonny Prison, the Mentals man, Johnny Psycho Payne. Coming down the aisle, who is it coming? 238 pounds out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the former bodyguard, Virgil. Fans, we've seen him in a lot of matches here in the NWC. A big crowd favorite, the former bodyguard. Here's Virgil. Question coming into the ring right now, fans. The most despicable, the most hated, the most ugh, despised character here in the NWC. This guy makes me sick. But you gotta give him respect, fans. 266 pounds, the Motor City Madman, the thug. Coming down the aisle is a man who's a savvy ring veteran. He's been in wars like this before, fans. You know it. 325 pounds out of Charlotte, North Carolina. The Junkyard Dog. Remember, 15 men in the ring at one time. Over the top is the only way to get eliminated. Your, your feet must hit the floor. The only way out is over the top rope. And our final competitor, is terrible Terry Funk out of Amarillo, Texas. Here he comes, the crowd going wild for terrible Terry Funk, the Hall of Famer, the living legend. He's been in street brawls like this before, fans. No doubt about it. 15 men over the top. The Battle Royal getting ready to take place here in the NWC. Once again, fans, the rules. 15 men in the ring at one time. Over 5,000 pounds of beef in that ring. I don't know how the ring can hold it. TC, you better get out of there while you can. Wait a second. No, 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 no. There's one more competitor. I can't believe that 
wrestling fans in all my years of professional wrestling. I have never seen a midget. What is he going to do? Terry Funk is looking at this guy like, what are you going to be doing in the ring, little Tokyo? I can't believe it. TC, I see you team. You join me back at ringside here. What is a midget doing in the ring with these bohemians? He's going to get killed. Little Tokyo Al, a big fan favorite here in the NWC, as you well know. He demanded to be in here. And what the heck? 15-man total included. 92-pound midget. Little Tokyo, aced by the Junkyard Dog. Little Tokyo, he may survive, Big Al. He's been in wrestling for so many years. He's been in matches like this. Can you believe the crowd is on its feet? They're standing on their chairs back there. The Section 8 crew in the back over here. They want Tokyo to win this thing. How's he going to take out a 400-pound giant? Oh, yes, Clarence and the crew, they're back there. The Section 8 crazies, 15 men are in the ring right now. And the Battle Royals beginning $10,000 to the winner. The only way to be eliminated is over the top rope. Only in the NWC. We've got to go out big out. Let's get busy. It's total chaos right out of the box. Here we go. The Giants are underway. They're double teaming, triple teaming. I see the mercenaries swinging on top of each other. I can't believe it. Swat, the big seven foot, 400 pound giant. He's got little Tokyo. Tokyo could be going out. No, he's using Tokyo as a battering ram. He just pushed Larry Powers almost out of the ring. This is unbelievable, Big L. We have a seven foot, 400 pound giant helping a 92 pound midget. I can't believe this, TC. In all my years of professional wrestling, I've never seen this before. Tokyo being used to battering ram by SWAT. 405 pounds. If that isn't one extreme to another, was, I don't know what is. A tag team combination of mercenaries are pounding on each other. Hey, that's what happens when you go for $10,000, TC. It's winner take all. Mercenaries are all for themselves. There's no loyalty here whatsoever. Wrestlers that have been friends forever uh, are battling each other. 10,000 grand. That's is that right. Tokyo on the floor? Did he go out over the top, TC? Yeah. He went underneath the bottom rope, so he's still alive, Big Al. You know, we got referees on the inside, referees on the outside. David Hawk and Jesse Hernandez. The action continues all over the way. I see a Doug Whaley and Anzuma over there, along with Larry Powers. And what the Giants are up to, they're going to be doubled and triple team here. Oh, the Giants got each other in the corner, TC. Absolutely correct. They are battling all over the ring. Our cameramen are all over the place. They're virtual staying in the middle. The thug is, is getting in in the corner. And now we've got a tag team going on on the giant SWAT. And now SWAT is just wailing away at the Renegade and the Volcano Kid. Judge Dredd and SWAT going at it right now. Mercenary looks like it could be going over the top, Big Al. You know, I'm so surprised that the mercenaries are going at each other. You're going to find out how many friends you have in this, in this, in this business of ours, TC as soon as you get in a ring in a battle royal, you find out who your friends are. And it looks like Terry Funk could already be busted wide open, Big Al. Remember, he still has those cuts and scars and stitches from his battle with Virgil last week in the branding iron you know, we saw And now they're going at it. And now Virgil could be going over. Terry Funk and Virgil continuing their battle here from last week. Remember, the only way out, fans, is over the top rope, 15 feet onto the floor. You've got to land on the concrete to be eliminated. Here in the over-the-top battle royal, only you see this on NWC Slamming. As of right now, I don't believe anybody has been eliminated that I can see. Uh, maybe Gary Crusher Key has been tossed out. I believe Gary Crusher Key is out. And there goes one of the mercenaries, thrown out of the ring by the other mercenary. I can't believe it. Junkyard Dog just gave a standing drop kick to the thug. And now the thug is being pounded on by Judge Dredd. One of the mercenaries is left. And Larry Powers is standing by himself. Johnny Psycho Payne is pounding somebody in the corner. I can't make it out, Al, who that it is. Looks like it may be Zuma. It could be the Wild Renegade. It could be any of these guys. Remember, there's still 14, 15 guys left in the ring. And, see, and there goes the Renegade, Renegade right out in front of us. We are down to a dozen and now make it 11, as I believe the other mercenary has been eliminated. And little Tokyo still standing big out. As the Navajo kid bites the dust. Navajo kid has been eliminated. Larry Powers trying to pick on the big giant. The Navajo kid, the wild renegade, they're headed to the showers. We are down to nine left. 
Right now, Virgil just plow drive Terry Funk. Unbelievable. This feud's going to continue for years. It's been happening here in the NWC. You saw it last week, fans, with the branding iron match. Judge Dredd, Johnny Psycho Payne, the thug. And now Zuma over the top, and he's eliminated. And there goes Zuma, the high-flying artist. He's gone from the Battle Royal. Left now, Judge Dredd over. The 400-pound giant has been eliminated as he goes over the top rope. It took three men to throw the judge out over the top, but one of the giants have disappeared here little, in NWC. Little Simon. Tokyo and the thug. The thug is looking right at Little Tokyo, Big Al. And now Tokyo just laid out the thug. He kicked it right in the groin area. He is pounding the thug. I, this is unbelievable. I can't believe what I'm seeing. The crowd Tokyo, going crazy. You better get out of the way you can before the thug gets up. Because if he gets up, it's going to be curtains for the Tokyo man. And Tokyo is ducking and diving. And there goes the other giant over the top. 405 pounds. Swan is eliminated. We are down to about seven wrestlers now. JYD still in the ring. Larry Power still alive. Virgil, Terry Funk, The Thug, Johnny Psycho Pain, and yes, Little Tokyo is still in the Battle Royal. Oh, Tokyo just took a pound in there. Larry Power Powers just let him out. He just labeled a 92-pound man. What kind of animal is that? And now Johnny Psycho Payne has little Tokyo up. This could be it for Tokyo. And Tokyo coming back with a big left to the midsection of Psycho. Virgil has Psycho up. Beautiful back body slam. Unbelievable. Only oh, just dropped down on by the Volcano Kid for his askings. Volcano Kid still alive. And Tokyo is up. Johnny Psycho Payne has him up over the head. And little Tokyo, he's thrown on top of the thug. They're into the front row. Poetic justice for the thug. He got with his duties on. And now Tokyo's taking over at work. And now the thug is chasing Tokyo out of the arena. Unbelievable action. I can't believe this. This is what you want to see, fans. Only in the NWC. Only right here in Las Vegas. And there goes the Volcano Kid. We're Purple now on the four competitors. The final four, Terry Funk, the Junkyard Dog, Larry Powers, and Virgil. And Funk is hanging from the top. He's still alive. And JYD, he goes over the top. He's hanging there with Funk. He, oh, he's down. The dog is gone. Look out now. They're going to double team Virgil. I can see this coming. Terry Funk lets Larry Powers have it as Virgil ducks out of the way. It's Funk and Virgil. A rematch from last week. Funk over the top. We're down to two, TC. Larry Powers, the established tag team veteran. And there he goes! Virgil He's over the top! Virgil wins the Battle Royal! Virgil wins the Battle Royal! Virgil, $10,000 richer! Unbelievable, TC! Virgil showing recuperative power from last week. He took the pounding with the branding iron for Terry Funk. And here he is, one week later, back in the ring to win and defeat 14 other opponents in the $10,000 over-the-top battle royal only here in NWC Slamming. <laughs> This. Wrestling fans, the NWC is on fire. And I'll tell you, one of the reasons is we bring the greatest wrestlers into our area. And I'd like to bring to you right now the one and only, the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, the man from Memphis, the Hulky Talk Man. Oh, Take it away. Well, Bill, I'm glad you gave me the good introduction that I deserve. Most of these TV announcers don't know how to say the greatest of all time, the honky-tonk man. But, wow, well, Bill, I knew you could do it because anybody with a waistline like that had got a lot of hot air. And a honky-tonk man. I like to sing. I like to dance. I like to play my tune. 
And when they called me and they said the NWC's got the greatest wrestling talent of all, I said, put my name on a list. Give me an open contract. Because when you're greatest of all time, you sign the paper and you say, bring them all on. Bring me Junkyard Dog. He felt the honky-tonk man's guitar. Virgil, he felt the honky-tonk man's guitar. And anybody else that puts their name on the line beside the honky-tonk man in the NWC is going to feel the wrath of the greatest of all time. I sing, I dance, and oh yeah. I play the guitar. Let me say this, Wild Bill. I look around the NWC and I saw in the front row some of the biggest, fattest, ugliest women I have ever seen in North Las Vegas. I came here because I thought this was a city of bright lights. I thought this was a city where everything glittered. Everything was lined in gold. But what I saw was one gold tooth hanging on that fat mama. And you know what? She had her arm around the junk food. I mean junkyard dog. And that made the honky-tonk man sick. And I saw them little skinny arm men sitting out there. Rednecks, because all they do is climb on the roof and put these hot towels out in this hot sun. And Saturday night is the time to fight. And the honky-tonk man walk in the streets looking for a fight. Bring me some competition. The greatest of all time. I got to have a belt. I got to have a fight. Bring them on. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, the honky-tonk man. Y'all ready for this? Get ready for another monster NWC extravaganza. Friday night, August 25th at the Silver Nugget. It's the night for champions. As the NWC heavyweight title is on the line, Sabu battles Cactus Jack in a lumberjack match. These two wild men go at it again. It's sure to be another war. Also, it's the NWC tag team tournament. Eight great teams battle for the belts. Get your tickets now at the Silver Nugget. And don't miss this awesome show. Friday, August 25th at the Silver Nugget. Be there wrap up another action-packed hour of power this week on NWC Slammin'. This week's action brought to you by UltraZone, the ultimate laser adventure. And by Comp 92.3 FM, the rock of Las Vegas. And by Allstate Auto Marine and Electric for all of your automotive repairs. Well, fans, don't you dare forget Friday night, August 25th, we do it again live at the Silver Nugget. That's right, the Tag Team Tournament. Eight of the greatest tag teams in the world today vying for the coveted NWC Tag Title. And the main event on Friday night, August the 25th, heavyweight title defense with Sal Boo as a...